Landing at Nad Zab in July 1942, the United States Joint Chiefs of Staff approved a series of operations against the Japanese bastion at Rayball, which blocked any Allied advance along the northern coast of New Guinea toward the Philippines or north toward the main Japanese naval base at Truk. As a result of the Battle of the Bismarck Sea, the Japanese decided not to send any more convoys to Lee, but to land troops at Hansa Bay and Wuk and move them forward to Lee by barge or submarine. The Markham Valley was traversable by motor vehicles in the dry season, which ran from December to April, and therefore formed part of a natural highway between the Japanese bases at Lee and Madden. Major General Stanley Savage's 3rd Division in the Wau area and Major General Horace Fuller's U.S. 41st Infantry Division around Morobe were ordered to advance on Salamora so as to threaten it and draw Japanese forces away from Lee. Taking the Japanese by surprise, they destroyed around 100 Japanese aircraft on the ground. A group of 24 B-24S and 4 B-17S, which left the column just before the junction of the Watut and the Markham attacked the Japanese defensive position at Heath's Plantation, about halfway between Nadzab and Lee. The last 10 Japanese troops facing the 2 forward 33 Road Infantry Battalion were killed and the 2 forward 25 TH Infantry Battalion passed through its position and headed for Lee. The column entered Lee unopposed by the Japanese but aircraft of the 5th Air Force strafed the 2 forward 33 Road Infantry Battalion and dropped parachute fragmentation bombs, wounding two men. Whitehead soon received a message sent in the clear from Vasi that read, only the 5th Air Force bombers are preventing me from entering Lee. By early afternoon, the 2 forward 31 ST Infantry Battalion reached the Lee airfield where it killed 15 Japanese soldiers and captured one. The Salamora garrison assembled at Lee on 14 September, and the Japanese evacuated the town over the next few days, D80B7D83B7DF, 